Warning, the following game contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica Blind. On the last episode, we uh, continued walking through wherever we are. Uh, we made our way past through the metal detectors again, and uh, opened up that door to find some zombies attacking us, and a fire extinguisher, which we used to go put out that fire very close to where we started off the game, and grabbed that suitcase, which had that special, undetectable alloy. Bring that back inside, we used it to create a emblem that we could use to bring outside without alerting the metal detectors. So we did that, and we used the emblem to open up a, a bridge area, made our way past that, and we entered this giant palace. But that was about it. So, I mean, that, that sounds like a lot. It actually doesn't sound like that much, but it was a lot. But on this episode, we're in said palace. We don't really have a lot of options because a lot of the doors are locked. For the only one that we... Well, we did just get an ID card, so we can unlock that door down there. Which is a liar because... Oh, I might have picked it up after I saved the game. That probably, that probably explains why that door doesn't say it's currently open. I'm just going to put this back. Yeah, we also have this navy proof, and I don't know what it's for. I have a lot of pistol ammo. We, and someone said I should... Uh, I didn't actually read the comment. <laughs> Uh, all I read for the comment was that the the weapon I'm using currently right now is crowd control. And so I really should only use it for crowds. So I'm going to... I'm just going to grab the pistol. I'm going to grab the ammo. And I'm going to grab... Am I hurt? I'm not hurt right now, am I? Well, let's just, let's just keep the guns on us for now. Set this equipped. That way I don't waste the ammo for it when I desperately might need it. Yeah, I can't see. Yeah, I saved it. I saved it uh, before I did this. I'm not this thing again. I'm gonna push the box. There we go. There's that ID card we want, which which we can allow to open up the door downstairs. There's a green herb right there. I think this door is... Yeah, this door is locked. It's locked. There's an indentation in the shape of two guns. Okay. I don't want, Do I have to sacrifice my two guns that I have? I'm good on health. I'm just going to drop this off. Actually, you know what? I'll hold on to it. I can hold up to health. Oh, yeah, there's that room we didn't search. There's a lot of things we have to do. And we, I feel like in this game we have less direction than we did the previous two games. Or is that just me? I mean, in, in one, it was simple. We were in a mansion. Just explore the mansion. Two, it was we're inside the RPD. Explore the RPD. Three, it was explore Raccoon City. And this one just get off the island or something. I think I bit my tongue. Ow, how'd I do that? It's locked. A silver crest is carved here. All right, so we have a silver crest. We have a blue diamond something. We have a, two golden guns. There's a lot of different keys that we need. And so far, none of them actually look like keys. Oh, yeah, what's in this room? We just went inside this room to see if it was a save point, and it wasn't. Ooh, I think I see a first aid spray there. I will take it. There's bats. Anything inside the restroom stalls here? Oop! Oh, oh, they're like vampire. They're actually vampire bats. Ooh, what are you? Surprisingly awkward sitting suitcase. Take the Duralumin case. Sure. Do I have to start shooting? Oh, they're hurting me. Badly my heart. I, I'm gonna laugh him at like I'm at caution. Alright. Stupid bat. I just wanna check and see if there's anything in here. There's probably not, and that was all just a waste of time. Ah, I was, uh, oh, 
it kind of was a waste of time. Extra ammo, though. Because I was searching the closed ones. Well, now I don't have... Now, now I'm hurt. All right, what do I do with this, then? I got I to gotta stay hurt. That's what happens. You don't need to use it now. It's secured by a simple lock. I could open this if I had a lock pick. Okay, so what I'm getting, what I've kind of determined is that if it ever says simple lock, I can pick it. Problem is, I don't have a lock pick, so. So much for that. Because, <laughs> I mean, it said it in King it Kingdom. Yeah, it said it in Resident Evil 1. It said it in Resident Evil 2. Well, in Resident Evil 1, we just had the lock pick. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate the unlocking device. Oh, I, I completely forgot what the ID number was. There it is. Where is... Okay, there's a pen. I have, I have some paper here. Quickly write this down. N-T-C-0... Three, nine, four. Probably easy to remember, but I just want to be safe. Okay. N T C zero three nine four. Is that a code? Uh, can this code be deciphered in any other way? Upside down. H six E O. Not really. Adding verification progress. Please wait. Aha! Confirmed. Security lock system is deactivated. ID card is no longer useful. Discard the ID key. Uh, yep, I don't need it. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was there a door in that last room? No. Just the stall that I had to go in. I mean, still, even though I use it a bunch, it's 64. But I do have almost 100 rounds in pistol ammo. Like this while I'm reloading. Ooh, okay. Got a couple of locked doors. Go back to the map. Let's take a look. Locked door. Locked door. Unlocked door at the end of the hall. Whoop! Okay, do they do bleed? They do bleed out on the ground when we kill them enough. <laughs> when we kill them enough. That was weird angling right there. Ooh, hold on. Uh huh. Yeah, there's something there. What is making that noise? Shut up. Pick this up. All right, there it is. Aha! There's a red herb. It looked like there was like a red smudge in the darkness on my screen. So I looked over at the capture and was like, yeah, there's something red there. Speaking of which, yes, I have a more potent healing herb. I don't know who's making that call, but I'm just going to progress. Ooh. More ammo. I was told to be careful about my ammo, though. Hold on. No, I left. I meant to. I meant to search the, the things on the wall. There's got to be something in this room, because there's no other way I can go except for back outside. Uh... 
Comet knives are displayed here. Can I have one, please? No, I have one already. Never mind. What am I talking about? Two handguns are displayed here. A model fighter plane is displayed here. Why do I think there's going to be a puzzle in here somewhere? Visual references are placed here. War seems to be the primary theme. Model battleship is displayed here. Two magnums are displayed here. I wonder if these are like old models that they used for Resident Evil 1. Like they have the combat knives. They have the... Ooh, this is, ooh there's a blinking light. A jewel model after an ant is displayed here. There's a button below. Push. That was a creepy film. <laughs> like who who recorded that and why? Also, who were they? It looked like the like two evil twins destroying a butter uh, not a butterfly, a dragonfly and just feeding it to ants. Are those the Did this say anything before I moved it? No. There was the mention of the who's who owns this place? Alfred. Alexia. That's... That's probably who they were. Got a new, new room in here, though. Ooh. A pair of gold Lugers are displayed here. Take them? I could use them to unlock that door upstairs. If that's what they're for. Oh, I can't carry them. Archaic military items are stored here. Well, you know what? I guess I will come back and grab those uh, when I have more inventory space. What's this? Guns from many countries are on display here. Take the steering wheel. Okay. Might as well. Less things to carry. Wait, what is that? The decorates are on display here. Looks like there's a word written there. It's probably just gibberish. Like the buttons are. All right. Let me go back upstairs to my, uh, my, uh, storage business. That doesn't sound good. And I'll go grab a... I'll go put some stuff away and then go grab those guns. And then I can find out what's behind that other door. Anything I shouldn't put away? It's already been 14 minutes. I'm still stuck in this place. Well, I mean, you know, that's fine. If we could stay in an area for a while, that'd be nice. I think I'm still hurt. I mean, I mean, by still hurt, I mean, am hurt. See, I need a lockpick for that. I'm gonna put away you. Go there. Put you up here. I'm just gonna eat this just so I have health. I don't know if that's a good thing though. What's a steering wheel for? I should go. I should check it. Okay, that brings me back to the fine. That's nice. 
the fact that I have a steering wheel is odd. Because I don't, I don't, I mean, other than a navy proof as well. Oop. This is used to steer a ship. Well, no duh. <laughs> it's a wheel used to steer a ship. It has an octa-shaped projection. Can I zoom in? No. All right, so I guess I put it into anything that has like an octagonal shaped hole. It's like it's like my hex shaped crank. Except that's a steering wheel for some reason. So you have hex shape. I want to see. I I didn't. I don't think I checked what you were. Hex shaped stone object. A picture of a submarine is carved on it. Okay, that doesn't explain how it works. But then again, none of, they don't really explain why any of the metals work. Go get those guns. God, my footsteps scared the crap out of me. I was like... I didn't even make it step and it made a giant thumping noise. <laughs> what is making that noise? I'm so confused. Taking the Golden Lugers. Zero. That's not good. Oh. Can I put them back? Can I put them back? I'm gonna need to do a uh, I'm gonna need to do a switch and grab. So I'm gonna need to put something that aren't gold lugers there, but can can fool the thing so that I don't get trapped in this room before it fills up with gas or or whatever toxic poison something. How did I get hurt? I'm still fine. I think I'm not poisoned. Okay then. Uh. Now what? Where can I go? I think I just looked at a zombie that's still just like standing here. See, there's this room next to me is locked. The room at the end of the hall is locked. I haven't checked to see why they're locked. I can still go down the staircase to the left. Oh, why is that? Why is that a yellow door now? That was that was blockable before, wasn't it? Or that was blocked before. Nothing new there. Once I I need a I need I need that blue plate in order to get through to that red door right there. So that I can get through, grab all the stuff that I forgot back in that other area. So I guess I can go. I can go that way now. But I want to see what's at the other side of this staircase then, because we went up. We came up from the right one. We never checked what's down the left one. But how 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 that path get opened up? It's locked. A silver crest is carved on it. All right. That sounds like he's starting to make his move finally. All right, so I need to find something that I could get those gold lugers with. Yeah! Help me! St 
Steve? Whoa, where'd that come from? Uh, uh, where can he be? I don't know where he could be. Who would be crying out? You know, <laughs> maybe he, maybe he got himself locked in that room. Oh, he totally did. He got himself locked in the room. I know your feels. I know exactly what you're feeling right now. I heard a heartbeat there. Steve is suffering. <laughs> There's a message on the control panel. When two pairs complete, my anger will subside. Operate it. Sure. There are switches. Uh, two pairs complete. Oh! Uh, C and E. Huh. That was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. Let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! Why did he, he get to keep the guns? I found them first! Yeah, so I, I noticed that they were the they were basically just these, like, frames thing here. Like, one of them was an ant. I think another one was a tank? But I saw two guns. I was like, oh, yeah, the guns are paired together, so I'll just put the guns together. Although I think they were not the right pair. <laughs> but whatever, it worked. Can I have my gun now, please? Look at me get to leave with it. I need I need those guns in order to get through the through that door upstairs. So now I need to find himself that's a uh, gun that's fully automatic, huh? Redfield, how dare you interfere with my operation? What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you! The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. My grandfather is one of the original founders of Umbrella Inc. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable. How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Have it your way, then. You're just a rat in a cage anyway. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. <laughs> Why do I not take him seriously at all? Oh, is he going to shoot at me again? <laughs> I have a gun. Shoot back. <laughs> My aim is probably better than his, although he does have a laser. 24 minutes. Yeah, I think it's time to go save it. <laughs> but he went this way. Unless he just, like, disappeared behind the door with the golden guns. What am I walking here or are you just standing here waiting for me to come through the door? Nope. All right. 
Yeah, so Steve took the golden guns. I don't know where he went, but I need them for this door. Uh, other than that... Yeah, other than that, we, ha we only have... The stairs down to the left. Whatever opened up that down, down at the at the passage, because that door used to be locked. So find out exactly what's going on down there. We need to find something silver so that we can use it for the door in that room and the door in at the end of the hall right there. And then the blue the blue uh diamond thing that we need for that right there. So we have a couple of keys to get. I want I hope I have enough increments for it. I have two currently. We'll see we'll see if I can run into any more increments on my way throughout wherever I'm going next episode. Seems like the seems like the areas are smaller than they were in Well, I mean it's more of a progression where one one was like mansion, uh like other other base and then underground. Two was RPD underground and then the dead factory. Oh no, dead factory was in three. The lab. And then three was like outside with little itty bitty places that you can go in. Kind of like the long treks though through certain dungeons. So that was that was Alfred. Or did, did he call himself Alfred? Did I read that completely wrong? I'm curious. Is it Alfred or Alfred? It's Alfred. It says Alfred right there. So that was... So what's that? So, hmm. That's probably the same guy that was in the home video that we saw. Tearing off the dragonfly's wings. Uh, he seems like he's going to be an eccentric person. <laughs> he has a sniper rifle with a, with a laser sight. Although he misses when you are standing perfectly still. Huh, well... That's going to do it for this episode of Resident Evil Code Veronica Blind. On the next episode, we'll probably head outside, find out what's down the left path, and then we'll check what's in that new door that opened up on the passage area. And, uh, yeah, maybe see if we can get those stupid golden guns back. Although, we'll, we're going to need to trade an assault rifle or something to him. I hope we can trade him one that has no bullets, because the, the, the golden weapons didn't have bullets either. So I know what he's going to do with them. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.